Are you struggling with two different porosities on your head? Do you have roots that are low porosity and mid lengths or ends that are medium or high porosity? If the answer is yes, then stick around to find out why and what the solution is to this problem. Curlies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kiki and I do all things curly hair tips, product reviews and styling. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the topic of why you may have two different types of porosities on your hair, from your root to your end, what causes this and what the solution is to this problem. So by now, I'm very hopeful that we all know what the term porosity is. And if it's not, I'm just gonna display it on the screen for you all. But in terms of two different porosities, we're gonna get straight into it. So why do you have two different porosities on your head? Generally, the main reason is that the root of your hair is where your new growth is. And this is the freshest virgin part of your hair that could possibly be on your head in comparison to maybe the mid lengths and the ends of your hair, which has just lived a little bit more life and seen a little bit more damage and manipulation, not necessarily damaged, but definitely in terms of a comparison to the root, it will feel a lot different to the new growth on your head. This is completely normal and I have actually experienced it myself. I can see that in the shower, my roots are definitely more low porosity than my ends. Some of my ends are quite high porosity and some of them are even a little bit damaged. Another reason why you may have two different porosities on your head is that you may have damage. This could be due to a number of reasons such as chemical damage from dyeing or any keratin kind of treatments that you do or it could be damaged through to maybe relaxers or heat and these will cause your hair to have different porosities. Usually when we treat our hair and use chemicals on it, it will alter the porosity to be more of a high porosity state, which just means it is more porous and more open to moisture and letting moisture in, but at the same time also not holding onto it very much which in turn makes our hair dry. Another reason why you may have multiple porosities on your head, it could just be down to genetics, simply that. That doesn't necessarily mean you can't do anything about it. If you're genetically predisposed to have low porosity hair, there are ways we can manage that. Similar to if you have genetically high porosity hair, there are definitely ways we can manage both of the porosities and just improve them a little bit in terms of health and manageability. So what is a solution to these problems? Option number one is we treat our hair all the same porosity. If I was somebody who had really low porosity roots and really high porosity ends, I would definitely treat my hair more to the low porosity side. And the reason for this is because low porosity hair, generally the practices and products that we use will favour high porosity as well. If you have low porosity hair and you maybe prefer using warm water and you may prefer using lighter products on your hair or your hair maybe takes a little bit longer to dry, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that and just treating the whole of your head as you would with that low porosity hair type. The high porosity hair in your head is not going to be damaged or suffer if you treated it as if it was low porosity. I myself have more medium to high porosity hair and often I do treat my hair as if it was low porosity. My hair does tend to favour warm water over cold water. When I'm in the shower and washed it and I'm putting my leave-ins, my products tend to work a lot better when I've just freshly come out of the shower and I'm still in the shower applying the leave-in. So there's absolutely nothing wrong in treating your hair as if it was low porosity. Option number two is you can try to restore the mid lengths and ends that are damaged or potentially more higher porosity. If you are someone who has maybe high porosity ends and low porosity root, and it could be due to color or heat, then what you want to do is really address those issues why it is high porosity. Is it damaged? Is it maybe split or dead? Do you need to transition out of that? Then that is something that if you're concerned about your porosity and the health of your hair overall, you would need to definitely transition out of that damage and just work on the new growth that's coming through and maybe gradually just trim it off. And then eventually you will end up with your full head 
pretty much the same for us to see all the way through. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was a really speedy one, but I just wanted to address this topic because I've had a lot of comments on my socials about this issue and I just wanted to put some information out there because I haven't seen anyone talk about this one yet. If you're interested in seeing any of my other videos on porosity, make sure you click the thumbnails at the end and I will see you next time.